Hello, I'm going to show you. Oh, I'm going to show you how to how to make uh, a chat box in in uh, Microsoft Visual Express Edition uh, 2008. First, you click on New Project, and then you choose the console application. I'll call it Chat Bot. There. Okay. Then. Just wait a bit there, and um, the first I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you uh, the three basic things that you need to uh, to make a good chat box. And the first one is the right line and the right. But let's start out with the right line. Right now, the right line is uh, is is just a sentence that the computer pastes and um and shows and always remember to end a sentence with a semicolon because you have to do that and always remember to uh to when when your program is done then write this command console dot read key it means um it means that the that the con the computer uh, has to has to wait for um, for a response from the keyboard. So when you press a key, then it goes to the next step. And uh, well, if there's no more steps, then it'll close the program. And without the command, then the program uh, won't run. Then it'll just close down as soon as you run it. There, see, hello. Very exciting. Then we um, we can make it into a right, and the the difference between a right and um, and a right line is that a right you can you can answer to a right you can write something to a right command like um, say say you want the computer to ask you your name then you write like this and now this is a right line then you need the answer that you uh, that you write you need that to be saved and that's why you use a string I'll go in uh, in depth with those and then you need to call the string a name oh, oops. and I'll just call it name and then you write console dot read line there alright and uh, yeah then you um then then if you want the computer to to call you by your name later like uh like how are you doing and then your name peter whatever it is then then you make a console dot right or right line i'll just make it a right line and then mm, nice to meet you Oh, yeah, great. Then, uh, then you need to make uh, what I call a zero point. I don't know what it's named, but I call it a zero point. That's where uh, it pastes the thing that you wrote in the. Oh, I forgot to make it a rhyme there. That you wrote in the write command, and then, then you need to after after the the quote mark, you need to make a comma. And then call the name of the string, which is name, and then end and semicolon. And now the computer asks what my name is. I'll write my name. It's a bit laggy, so you won't be able to see it. Good. There, and then it says. Ah, it's so laggy. Sorry about that. I'll do it again. There. Nice to meet you, Philip. You can't see the P there because it's laggy. Then it works. Then you press a button and the program closes. God damn it. Laggy. Alright. And um now I'll uh, go in depth with the with the string command. The string command is is uh, what ha what um saves 
whatever you've written. You can also write a hello, what's your name? Yeah, then you can write monkey balls, and then it'll save the word monkey balls or the words that you write under whatever you call the string, which in this case is name. And then every time you write name, a uh, comma, name, or whatever you've called the string somewhere in a right or right line, then uh, then it'll paste that uh, whatever you wrote into the zero point. So um, yeah.